Okay, let's see how we create streams from scratch. We use ranges. Okay, before Java 8, we could not create ranges, but with Java 8, we may create some uh, value range, especially for numbers. And let me show them. The first way is using all the items one by one and putting them into a stream. For this, we may use the static method of stream class off method and inside stream off method you may you may pass all the items one by one uh, by separating them with commas the number of parameters is not limited and you may use all the values with the type definition this type definition if you say integer here you must put integers here when you use any item here other than an integer the code will not compile and these values doesn't have to be successive values and after creating this uh, stream you may iterate over all the items again uh, with for each method okay the other way is to use in stream double stream long stream in this way you may create a range from starting a point to an end point here starting from one to five and here you may create a range from 10 to 50 but you, but you say that I will skip the first two items so 11 and 12 will be skipped and the range will start from 12 and goes to 50 after creating the stream you may iterate over all the items again so the important methods are stream off to create and stream from individual items and the second is from creating a range okay now let me show you an example inside the java 8 package i will create a class stream with range and a main method inside it let's create a stream of strings say string stream and we will use off method of stream stream off and all the values will go here let's say talha ojakji java okay after that we will simply use for each loop and print out the values okay let's run run this That's all, we, iter we iterated over the streams. And let's say we will create another stream of double, okay? Double stream and stream of some double values, okay? After that, we may iterate over the stream, double stream, dot for each. Let's run this. Okay, let me convert this to println and retry. That's all. We may iterate over the list, over the stream. And now let's define some uh, pre-developed stream types the first one is double stream okay let's say my double stream and double stream of these values again okay my double stream dot for each system out print ln again so the result will be the same but in this case we did not define a generic type of stream this automatically wraps the type and we don't use the generic type now let's use um, ranges for this we may use in stream and with in stream we also may use ranges okay not the values one by one but a simple range 
and let's start from 10 to 100 in this case we don't put an effort for uh, putting the values between these values in a traditional way we may use a for loop and put all the values between these values one by one uh, with a for loop or while loop but in this case we just define a range this is a really uh, good this is a really good feature in Java 8 and on Instagram we may iterate over the values with for each again system out println you may see that from 10 to 99 now I will show you range closed if you use range closed the last volume will also be included into the range so the 100 also will be included in the list so let me show you 100 here okay if you want to skip some of the values you may skip them let's say we will skip first 10 values so uh, we will start from 20 you see we started from 20 in the next chapter I will show you how we find minimum value maximum value or average value on an integer stream see you then